What are we doing next? We got an elite group. I think we're going to bring in our stress team for the elite group. Let's put a couple of our folks in here to heal. And we got to take these two out. I guess we'll put these two in to gain us some experience points. Let's make sure this group is leveled up how we want. We're going to do some more dread. Okay. We didn't get a new ability yet. In level six you do. Uh, can't do dread. I think I might save up. Let's save up. This one can do dread. And this one actually is level six, so we get a skill point. So no, no, no has been upgraded. Let's do the scream attack. Scream attack removes buffs from the target and gains one dread. Serve me well, my minion. And more dread damage. Yes. Do I have anything cool to give? Stouffer? A ratchet's a spell power. Increases damage dealt to elite enemies. Let's put that in there right now. There we go. Stouffer is the elite stopper. Uh, when the game became really hard after the first dungeon? Oh, it depends on the level. It, it, it's a difficult game uh, all the way through, but there are four different difficulty settings, so. Yeah. Um, just keep in mind, Kato's, I've been playing this game on and off since last July, so I kind of have an idea of which minions I want to take with others and, and stuff like that. I also have access um, because I've unlocked these minions on my account already. See, I only have four minions that I can make that haven't been locked unlocked yet. When you first start off the game, a lot of these are locked to you, so you, you only have like the top six available to you. So already my uh, experience is a little bit different than others so so it's gonna go a little bit easier for me but um if you're brand new to the game i would say try it on the the easiest difficulty setting so you don't start off getting frustrated right away they give you more resources a little bit more forgivable and then just get the feel of the game because it is hard and if you do like let's say like right now i really like uh this this banshee right now she's level six she's got a cool artifact right this mutant claw if if this minion dies it's gone she's gone it loses the mutant claw it loses this ectoplasm um and i can create a new banshee and the good news is i can create a new banshee and i can give it this level five brain so it immediately goes back up to level five uh but i lost this claw and this ectoplasm so when you lose a minion it hurts let's uh I think we're ready to go we do have one more talent point do i want to go all the way to the bottom here increase the amount of wrath that wrath is gains in battle by 50 percent hmm. i don't know i'm not sure i'm not sure what to go after next anybody that plays this uh have any talent see these are the talents that i like i like getting these early on And I like, and I wanted to be able to get the vampire ability, the blood curse. Anything else that you guys are thinking? Um, oh, let's go to the dungeon. Here's an elite squad. Let's try it out. Oh, actually, actually, one more thing I want to do. Let's create the dead lake. Chance to find a random artifact. Let's do it. Let's create a banshee. You will learn to enjoy your wretched existence. And let's put the banshee in the dead lake. 
and build this. So now we have a chance to get a random artifact uh, when we I beat a fight. Its full form will be to invite madness, so I am content to occasionally give it a pat on the tentacle. All right, here we go. Four leads. Wow. Okay. Stouffer is going to go into the no, no, no stance. Thank God you missed, because otherwise that would be a lot of damage to take early on. Um, stress attack. Wow, insane already. I like it. Uh, I like it. Wow, we've got a terror wave already. Everybody move and everybody gets screamed at. <laughs> this game's so fun. Um, Dash Topes. Let's see if I can put some debuffs on these guys. Nice whip. Go back to the no no stance. So, this stance is each time an enemy receives a buff. Okay, so. We'll just curse this guy. Ouch. Okay, so we have two guys that are completely stressed out, waiting for them to have heart attacks. Death. There you go. There's a heart attack. Medicus, you got back. You got back at him. You got back at him. All right, terror wave. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, <laughs> pathetic. It is rather pathetic. Wonder if we can get another vampire from them. Um, let's make sure one of them dies. Sixteen percent chance. Oh well. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so we've got Compendium uh, Humanarium updates for these three uh, monsters, which gives us more info about them. Some random stuff. We got a Cursed Grimoire. Each round of combat, Aratus recovers 30 wrath. That's a one time use. Okay. We're getting a lot of consumables, which I don't really love because I never know when to use them. All right, in the dungeon, looks like we're getting. This looks like the next tier of monsters for level one, because we haven't fought a couple of those yet. That looks like a madman, an executioner. I forget what they're called. Um, we could probably take the stress team in or the physical team for that. Begin of, yeah, the consumable hoarding has begun. Look, most of these are consumables. In fact, I should have used this. Ah, uh, fetchy. Yes. Talent points. All right, talent, he's got two. We got to figure out where, where we're going here. Do we want to wait and get increased amount of wrath that a rat just gains in battle so we can use the wrath moves more often? I, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to save that. So that's solved. Um, I can create the last building 
50% chance for each minion working at the excavation site to find a random part. I'm going to save that. I'm going to let's let's level up like this building. We need 50. Let's let's save our points for that. So there's two things we don't need to do. Um anybody need healing? Not really. These guys are leveling up here. Let's bring our physical team out. Let's do it. I don't want one team to get too far ahead of the other. And we'll put these guys in here. To gain some passive experience. And our vampire. I mean our... Where's our bride? Oh, there she is. Jojo. Alright, let's make sure these are leveled up. How we want them. Physical attack. Okay. Stats. More vigor. Okay. Stats. More attack or more crit? Just go with attack for now. She has an ability point on JoJo because we're level six. What's the other ability we want to do? We can't upgrade the. Uh, let's. What about the buff? We do a buff here. The Bride gains 10 attack and 10 dread until the end of combat. The buff gains 14 and 14 or... Uh, a Ratus gains spell power. I'm going to go with this one. I expect results. Okay. And anybody else level 6? No. Here we go. Hi, Miss Mia. What's going on? We're doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody's tuning in for the first time today, uh, this is Aratus, which comes out of early access and launches today uh, officially. I think in the next like half hour or so, this game's going to update and officially launch for everybody. We're getting an early access look to the final uh, game release. Thanks to the folks at Daedalic Entertainment for sponsoring today's stream. Um, we also might be up on the Steam store page a little bit later today. So if you're watching on Steam... You can come over to that address on the top left-hand corner, twitch.tv slash bogotter. If you want to check out our stream, I'm live on April 23rd. Uh, that's a Thursday. So if you're watching on that day, you can come on over and interact with us live. If you're not watching on April 23rd, uh, this is probably a rebroadcast. But you can come over and follow me over on Twitch anyway if you're enjoying the stream. And I uh, hope everybody's having a great day so far. It's staying safe out there. All right, let's continue. Let's jump up to this battle with this group and see how we fare. Some new enemies here that we haven't seen yet. If I remember correctly, this Doomsayer is pretty nasty. Ottoman, Miner, and Headsman. All right, Jojo, we're gonna do the buff first. Excuse me. All right, let's pierce these first two guys as best we can. She just ignited herself. Oh, that's the trinket, right? The trinket just ignited her. That's fantastic. I love that. I'm already loving that trinket. Target loses 30% of its current vigor and the vampire loses 20. Hmm. Still trying to figure out the place for the vampire in this group. Doom, I say, doom. Okay, Sparkwood, let's do this. 
We gotta increase the accuracy on Sparkwood. Holy crap. Um... This is gonna do a lot of damage, ready? Savor these last few heartbeats. Except the last two guys had block. <laughs> Everybody's on fire. Ha ha ha! He just killed the front guy and healed herself. Everybody else heals. Uh, I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I did that. Nobody else was hurt. The only guy that was hurt was the front guy. One less there we go. In the world. You should see, be able to see well with 12 eyes. I know, right? He blocked it. Gotta get rid of those blocks. It's annoying. There's another block. Let's get rid of those. Okay. Stab him. Thank you. You're on fire again. What a terrible attack that is. Uh, Sar is getting low on life. Oh my god. All attacks against the target ignore both block, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Let's do a heal here. Become part of the breathless tide. That was a nice attack. What? Okay. <laughs> I was like, you left him with like one life. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. Okay, so we got an ecto ectoplasm, upgraded stat point, necromantic flask, one time use. Eratus receives 30 plus spell power. Okay. Check our map. All right, we can go left. Which will... Doesn't matter. It looks like either way we go from this point on, we're going to get one more elite fight. So we got an elite fight over here and an elite fight over here. So it doesn't matter which way we go in terms of elites. If we go left, we have this quest. Uh, right, right now is an instant battle versus dormant minions awaiting their time. I guess we'll go right. Sweet googly moogly, three months in a row? Are you feeling all right? SBB, thank you so much for that three month resub. Really appreciate that, thank you. Hype and love in the chat, please, for SBB. By the way, gang, we do a thing here in the stream that every day we have a goal of getting five newer gifted subs. And if we hit that goal, we'll do a uh, Game Vault giveaway. We have a vault that's full of games that have been donated by the community. And when we hit that goal, we give away a game for the vault. And we also have one more copy of Aratus that we're going to be giving away a little bit later in the stream today. Yeah, we're almost halfway through the stream. Hope you guys are having fun today. All right, we got to choose a minion to raise. Well, we don't have one of these yet. So I'm going to choose one of these. And there we go. And now we've got another battle. So that's a shade. Don't really, oh wow, it's a level five. They gave us a level five shade, that's pretty sweet. So I'm not really sure what kind of, uh, not sure what kind of minion this is, let's see. So this is a stance, all successful attacks against your minions cause the attacker to take stress damage equal to 100% of the damage dealt. Okay, so that could be stress. The shade in the target swap positions and gain 30 evasion. Aratus gains 12 mana. The target loses accuracy for two actions. Deals damage equal to 80% uh, of the sanity that the target is missing. That's kind of weird though. 
Because if you're in a stress group, you want them to lose sanity, not health. And then this one, Trap, summons a cloud of darkness at target position for two turns. I'm not sure. The shade's kind of weird. Yeah. Personal Jesus says, as the game release, it still says early access to me still. I think in about a half hour or so, it should unlock for everybody. Um, I've got a little bit of early access uh, from the from Daedalic Entertainment. But yeah, soon. You're a dragon. Be a dragon. A dragon. A dragon. I swear I saw a dragon. There we go. Talarain with a, with a four-year resub. And becoming a dragon otter. Thank you so much, Talarain. Hype and love in the chat for our latest dragon otter. Your badge upgraded. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the new uh, badge. All right. I don't have enough points to upgrade this, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm still saving up for dark enlightenment, which I want. We're going to be going against this group here. So we can take our physical group again. But... Um, I'm going to take the physical group again. However, I'm going to... I'm going to put Sar in the healing bin here. To heal up. And I'm going to create a... What are we going to create? We don't have everything yet. I'm not sure if we need everything yet. Let me create another character for the physical group. Let's create a second bride. And when we create this... Um, the craft the second bride. If you want to be named after our second bride... I crafted it that way. If you want the bride to be named after you, I should say. Let's do uh, a little raffle here. So type exclamation point, pick me if you want to be considered for the name of the bride. If you've already been selected today, uh, don't enter. Let somebody else have a chance. And we're going to give this bride a level six brain. We're just going to hop right up to level six. And we're going to increase. Uh, Mike, thanks for following. We're going to increase this shot. I think we're going to do pretty similar stuff that we did last time. What, did, what was our other one? Other bride we went to the right. Yeah, let's go. Let's do the same. And then we have another skill. Upgrade. Get back to battle. Get back to battle. Okay. Shows the likelihood of landing a crit. Okay, cost six for another one. Where's the crit? Okay. And a little bit of accuracy. Sure. Switch the skin. Actually, we're going to have two different skins. For JoJo and the other one, so we can tell the difference. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, you spelled it wrong. Uh, here we go. Our Bride of Aratus is... To Marliel. All right. Did I spell that right? To Marliel. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. These these guys are just so good. So let's have Sparkwood in the front. We'll take Arrowwolf there. Uh, Arrowwolf is now going to be able to do... Let's get this Blood Strike up as well. Blood strike's a little weird in that it makes him go backwards, though, so. This makes the physical attack do more. And this one makes it do an AoE. So it reduces the damage to 11 to 13 quite a bit, but it hits two of them. Hmm. Let's do single target. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Very nasty. Nasty indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasty. Nasty surprise. Uh, yeah. We're going to save that. And then Sparkwood. All I want Sparkwood to have is accuracy. 
Oh, he's only got an 85%. Well, that makes sense. There we go. There's some accuracy for Sparkwood. And he doesn't get another one of these yet. And we're saving the stats over here. All right. I think our group is ready. Let's go. We got people in there. Nobody else needs healing. We're good to go. Let's see how our double Bride of Aratus team does. This time. First day whip. Then 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 then. All right. Deep bite. A critical hit will stun the target. Okay. Did a lot of damage. Let's buff. We'll make our brides buff their first turn. It's that last all battle, right? I think so. That's a terrible ability. I hate that. The AoE. He hits his own people, though. All right. Interrupt stances. Target loses one attack. Interrupt the stance. No stance for you. Vampire. Stun him. By the way, the things that appear over the, the minions' heads when they attack or take damage are hilarious. I don't have time to highlight it a lot of the time because I'm concentrating on other things. But if you read the little things that appear over their heads, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. All right. We're going to see uh, Rose for a lady. So th th these Brides of Aratus are insanely good. Could probably take this guy out. Maybe I'll craft yeah. this one into furniture. Your skin will look so fine sewn upon it. Alright. 24. We haven't stunned yet. We have to increase uh, our wolf's crit. Your frail bodies fail you. <laughs> Wizard is about to die. So do I want to heal? And he goes next. So I'd rather him not attack. There we go. You didn't miss that entire battle, My Sparkwood. Is a tide that will wash away All right, we got a pathetic civilization. We got a brain. Book of Ancient Wisdom. Hey, it's another one-time use. Aratus gains 100% uh, experience. Nice. Let's do that. We'll put that right in. New book. Boop. Okay. Let's check our map. Um, let's do experience for Aratus again. So you can level up your minions or Aratus. All your minions gain. Wait, is this all every single one of my minions? No, it's just my minions that are in the group, right? It can't be every minion. What does leveling up a Ratchet do? He has a talent tree, which I'll show you. So when he levels up, he gets a talent point and he gets new abilities. Yeah. Just the group, I hi. Okay. If it was all of them, it would be crazy. It'd be crazy. Let's go for a Ratchet. All right, so the next thing is just another fight. This one has a golem. 
so we probably don't want the stress group in there uh so here's the talent trees as as he Aratus levels up you can incre increase passive abilities gain um uh, spells that he can use all kinds of stuff i'm gonna grab this right now actually i can't i have to do this and this increases the amount of wrath that he gains in battle oh i forgot so we gotta do this Through transformation the will becomes and free. this first and now we can save up the four to get that balls balls yeah you killed four enemies and got five brains from it it's a level no it's one brain we got one brain uh but it's a level five brain and we have a myth what happens is if if i create a level one monster and i put this brain in it they're it immediately jumped up to level five that's how that works so so you don't have to level people up from level one again if uh somebody dies yeah But we did take some damage that last battle. I think what we should do is probably do this. And then put Sar back in. And then try that. And these two have been leveling up in here a long time. So let's put this one and this one. Get our stress team continuing to level up. We can improve... This will take 75. All right, we got to build a... Was that a lick? A lich? A lich. Let's build a lich. It's a lich. Ooh, I just can't tell where they get their uncaring attitude from yeah i don't have another skin for the lich um all right let's put the lich in the library there's a lich in the library everyone you know the dead is surprisingly good construction work okay so now ratus will gain even more experience points after each battle which is nice Anybody hit a new level? Yeah, I think I want to save my points, though. Nobody's got... Uh... Okay, I'll try this group out. 